Hey, I'm Brother Dwayne, and I'll greet you in the Holy Ghost. Amen. I welcome you to another Holy Ghost Fire edition of the Cry for America. Amen. We are here on Facebook. We are here on YouTube. Please like and share this video. Please subscribe to our channel. Amen. And share it wherever you can on your social media. We are brought to you by the Shekinah Family Worship Center, where we are led by Pastor Fields. He can be reached at area code 313-300-6457. Amen. We are going now to Dr. Quiet as he is ministering on the power of tongues. Amen. And how it is the guide and gateway into the very glory and riches of God. Amen. Let's go now to Dr. Quiet as he ministers life on the power of tongues. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I, I'm going to bring one of them words that I said I have two words I'm going to bring. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know. You, you, you pay attention. You see which one. <laughs> oh, my Father God. Heavenly Father, we thank you for salvation that thou has given unto us. Father, you didn't just save us, but Lord God, you failed us with your own spirit. And it is the spirit of sonship by which we cry, Abba, Father. We are sons of God. Uh, Father, we thank you for this wonderful sonship that you have given to us in Jesus Christ that we truly are sons of God. He said, Beloved, now are we sons of God, but it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when we shall, we shall, we shall see him, we shall be like him, because we shall see him as he is. Yes. Father God, we thank you that one day we shall behold our Lord and our Savior face to face. Thank you, O God, for this week, for what you have wrought, and what you still are going to work in the hearts of your people. And those on the, on the internet, Father God, let your anointing also be upon them as, as, as your anointing is upon us here. We give you glory for what you're going to talk to us. For thou hast loved your people. And Father, it is your design to equip us. Ah, Lord, to the full maturity in the spirit. Conform to the image of your son, Jesus Christ. And I thank you, O oh God, that tonight's word is going to help us, Lord, go that way. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 See, some of us, when we were baptized in the Holy Spirit, we just went to church with it. And that's all we did. When we go to church and we feel we feel good, and two second tongues, and we say, Oh, church was good. How oh, boy, the pastor was moving on the muscle. Oh yes, God, church was good. You mean church was good because it was la la. <laughs> oh, Many have not made it their responsibility to go deeper into this realm. That is why your, your, your faith you know, is yo-yo. That is why a lot of the riches of the kingdom, you are not walking in them. Because they are spiritual riches, not material. The riches of the kingdom are spiritual. God is a spirit. So his riches are spiritual. All right? He's the richest God in the whole universe. All right? But unless someone who knows this realm, not, that, not just who just go to church and talk once in a while some tongues, but someone who has dedicated himself to explore this realm, and has been led by God to explore this realm so he can talk about the marvels 
that are in store for them who walk in this path. You just be going to church and, and you know, talk your one hour tongue and you think you're talking tongue. It's tongue, it's tongue. <laughs> but but you, brother, after 40 years of talking tongues, 40 years of talking tongues, I, I talk tongues, tongues, some tongues. I used to talk six hours when I was doing my PhD. I talk tongues six hours, six in the morning to 12 noon before I sat down to write my thesis. That's why I, I knew that God understands what I'm doing. <laughs> because he led me, all right, as to what to write. So I, I always say my PhD was the, was, the, was the easiest. My master's was tougher. Because I hadn't just broke, I hadn't broken through in the Holy Ghost yet. <laughs> Ooh, by the time I got to the PhD, I could blast tongues six hours, seven hours. So it was easier. Those who go to school, they don't understand this realm. Okay, they don't understand. But it makes learning so easier. Easier for you. Does God know what? Does God know chemistry? <laughs> does, does, does he know does he know mathematics? <laughs> does, he, does he know? So why why can't you trust his spirit to lead you into this realm? Okay? So we you see we have ignored this realm for so long that we are we are poor in our experience with Christ. I'm going to read to you what the Lord, what the Lord gave us. After 40 years now, now listen to this. After 40 years of walking with the Lord, and then the last three years is when the Lord started to come and visit us and say he's going to walk with us daily, that we should rise and, and be with him in the night. What I have learned these three years, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness what was I doing 40 years <laughs> what, what? <laughs> my goodness what was I doing up till now the Lord said we ain't blasting <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna read the word. <laughs> then you understand. He said, well, well, he said that something to us. That I was I was just it just amused me. I was just I said, wow. He said, you says he said, he said, I've heard you or you think you talk any language God don't hear. <laughs> he said, I heard you all when you are going to pray in the spirit, so you are going to blast. <laughs> he said, You are going to blast in the Holy Ghost. All right. But as far as I, the Lord, am concerned, I'm still yet to see you blast. <laughs> I am I'm, I'm yet to be convinced that you do really blast. <laughs> Are you hearing me? I'm yet to be convinced by you all. You tell me you blast. But I, the Lord, I know you ain't blasting. <laughs> oh, so where are we? <laughs> Brother, it's amazing. It's an, it's an amazing realm. I'm going to read to you the message of the Lord that is on, on uh, November 1st. It says, go on. Go on and pray in the spirit. What's Pastor Fields? He, he got to hear this. <laughs> oh, he's recorded somewhere here. All right. Go on and pray in the spirit. Yes, you should persevere all the way. Now, let, let before I, I see I, I, I say this. Uh, from the time the Lord began to meet with us, 
okay? That was uh, July uh, 2017, July 7th, that we began to meet with him every night. And the messages that he gave to us, right, were, were wonderful because we ain't heard nothing like that. <laughs> we ain't heard nothing like that, God talking to you. <laughs> you are sweet. After three and a half, uh, three and a half years, three years exactly, he remembers when it was three years. So he said, you all know that we've been together for three years? That I'm not convinced that you all want to walk with me. <laughs> Do you all want to walk with me? He said, when I first asked you, do you think you can walk with me? You said, yes. Okay, we have come. We have come so far to this point. But now we have to climb. We have to. He told us there's a, there's a mountain that we need to climb. And that mountain, I, 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 I guess, you know, that has to be Mount Zion. That, my, that, it has to be Mount Zion going to the very presence of God. Because every true man of God, Every true woman of God who don't play church but has made God the one object of his pursuit ends up there on Mount Zion. He is brought up there to behold and to hear things and then come back and have dominion and authority on earth. You cannot, the Lord has made it clear to us, you cannot impact earth when you live on earth. That is why you are born from above. You are born from above. From my father himself. Through his word. By his son. You are born from heaven. But most of the time. This heavenly life. That has been. Uh, 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 planted in you. Most of you, you take it and live an earthly life with it. This life should cause you to rise. The Lord willing, Sunday, I'll talk about the second word. No wonder Paul has such a, an authority. Because he was brought up there. He was made to ascend in the spirit into the heavenly realm. I ask you to read Rich House. And you all don't read it. <laughs> when you say amen. <laughs> if you don't read it, say amen anyway. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> one, one time he, he ain't long about about two weeks or three weeks ago he ain't long <laughs> we, we blessed the Holy Ghost and then you see I, I have a, a desk you know I sit down you know, so when the Lord you know, comes to visit I sit down to write okay what you know what what, what he gonna say but this time you know, I don't know. I don't know. We, we are singing. I don't know what happened. I'm gone in sleep. <laughs> Until the Lord has come and he ain't said a word. And they are going on. He talking. But the moment, it's about two or three seconds, I woke up. He said, ah, my servant, you was gone. <laughs> I said, Lord, yes, Lord, I was gone. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, do you want me to lie before him? Oh no, I was gone. <laughs> oh my, <laughs> my goodness. The body needs help. The spirit is willing. <laughs> so you must keep on blasting until the Holy Ghost takes over and quicken your mortal body because this thing is intense. This heavenly life is intense. If the spirit of him that raised Christ from the dead dwells inside you, he will take you to church. Is that what he says? What will he do for you? Quicken what? 
What, what body? Your death bound body. This body that is going to die. He said before it die, it can be quickened. <laughs> so you can serve God. It can be quickened by him who lives inside you. So you have a strong body. Quickened by the spirit of God. To move in and do the work of God. Ah, yes, God. Anyway, let's go into the realm, the, this realm, and then talk about I got a lot of things. Okay, let me, let, me, let me read this. You see, you know, this one here, this one is different from this one, right? This one, some, this one here, some distance. This one they are the notes, the words that have come since from October 7th this year when we we decided you know because we, we, we weren't getting enough in the night time <laughs> but who can get enough when you walk in, with God and he comes you say me and me I don't tire so <laughs> okay then we decided we needed more Holy Ghost, because in the night from 10 all the way to, you know, 6, 7, you know, what, or 8, okay, we have to do everything. Talk, you know, tongues for four or five hours, get Bible, do Bible, do five Psalms, five this and that, and do all that. Because he wants us to do the word. You can't pray there and, and then don't do word. Don't do word. So we do all that and then we have to cry out to him too about what is happening. So it seems like we want more. So we decided October of this year that after we finish all night, okay, we're going to just take a couple of hours, maybe get us some, some tea or something and then refresh ourselves and then come back before God until 4 o'clock. Brother, it has been a barrel. But we are determined to, to, to pay the price, to stay in there. Because we, we need God. We need him to help us stand. What he has in mind, he ain't told us yet. But it has to be some awesome thing for, for us to go through this discipline. Because he wants to do something. He wants to do an amazing work. All right? So we, 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 we get up. No, and then uh, from 10, no, at, at times from, from 11, but we, we, we make sure we, make, we stay in there until 4 o'clock. Then we finish, we get a bowl of soup, we take a shower, go sleep, and get up at, at 10, and then keep on going. You see that? Keep on going. There's a price to pay, but if you can pay it, the blessing is overwhelming. The joy is eternal. <laughs> the amazing love he pours into the soul. The glories of the beauties of holiness that he pours into the soul. But why wouldn't you, why, why will you not press on? He's encouraging you to press on. It's a press on. Oh, yeah, he will rebuke us you, in our face. Then we press on. <laughs> so this one, this book is the one for the morning sessions, the, the last two months. Right? Some things over here. I want to read something, then I, I, I continue with the, with the message. This message, uh, November 1st, this one is from the October, you know, something. Say so, so here. Now, I want to read from this. Now you should know that you are spirit beings. Spirit beings. You are not in the flesh anymore. So you should walk with me in the spirit. Because it is in the spirit. Yes, God. Let me take it over here. I click it so I can. 
Because it is in the spirit that we are going to walk. In the spirit. The things of the spirit, your mind cannot understand. Right? There are spirit things and there are fleshly things. Which your mind can easily understand, fleshly things. But your mind cannot understand the things of the spirit. Your mind. Don't you read in the word of God what the apostle Paul said? He said he will pray in the spirit. And then he will also pray with the understanding. You hear, you hear the Lord talking this. Ain't that something? He telling you what Paul wrote. He said, that's what Paul, Paul said, hey, because there are things in the spirit that only my spirit can get. But my mind ain't going to get nothing. He, he, can't, he can't go to that realm. All right? So I will pray with my spirit and then pray in my understanding. Two different realms. He says here, yeah. He said he will pray in the spirit and then he will also pray with the understanding. He will sing in the spirit and he will also sing with the understanding. Why does he say so? Because the things of the spirit are different from the things of the flesh, which the mind of man can easily understand. But the mind of man cannot understand the things of the spirit. If I speak in the spirit to you, the Lord said, if I speak in the spirit to you, your mind will not understand me. <coughs> oh, I've heard some tongues. <laughs> but it's amazing. Hear Holy Ghost. Hear, hear Holy Ghost tongues. God pouring out. The Lord pouring out some tongues. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Listen to bar. We we ain't there. <laughs> your mind will not understand me. But if I speak with your human language, then you can understand me. So there's a spirit language. The spirit language. No, he said he told us some stuff. No, I can't say. It. He said, listen, your mouth. Your mouth are still bound. I have to loosen your mouth in the spirit. So we can talk in the spirit. Say, wow. <laughs> so we can talk in the spirit. Because we have to carry on conversations in the spirit. But right now you are not able to talk in the spirit. I have to loosen your tongue. I have to move some chains. My Lord. I don't know when, when that will be for us. He said, so learn and understand that the things of the spirit are very different. You must walk in the spirit. I have saved you and called you to walk in the spirit. You must communicate with me in the spirit. Tongues, tongues is the, is, is the beginning of that realm of the spirit language. Praying in the Holy Ghost. But you see, where we, where, where we miss is that we don't go deeper to touch another realm. Okay? We don't go deeper to touch another. There are realms, brother. There are realms in the spirit. And they are all for us to experience them. But if, if you don't have anybody who has touched that realm, well, nobody's going to talk about it you know, to you. You see that? Those who walk there, they are the ones who can talk about it because you can learn it. You must walk in the spirit. I have saved you and I, I and called you to walk in the spirit. You must communicate with me in the spirit. You must pray in the spirit language I have given to you. Yes, that's it. Now, so I'm going to continue from this one here. Yeah. This was during the daytime, the morning sessions. Now here, this, is a, <clears throat> this one was 3 a.m. 
Go on and pray in the spirit November 1st. Yes, you should persevere all the way. You must know that as you persevere, you will break through. This is how the Apostle Paul walked. Listen to this. Now, I'm, I'm reading what the Lord has said about what happened to the Apostle Paul in this realm. That's what this message is, is about because Paul you know, was an amazing example for us. Okay? So he says here, you should persevere all the way. You must know that as you persevere, you will break through. This is how the Apostle Paul walked until people thought he was crazy. You hear that? Ah, oh, boy. Church goers. <laughs> the Lord is describing Paul's experience with him and how he got lost in the spirit. But don't you hear what he says? That the way we conduct ourselves. People say we, are, we, are, we have lost our mind. But we ain't lost our mind. It is the love of Christ that presses us on. Yes. Yes. Now where did you get that love? That makes you act like crazy. <laughs> don't you read? It seems to me like Jude loved tongues. Jude, Jude also loved it. He said, but you, beloved, building up yourself on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, praying in the Holy Ghost, keep yourself in the love of God. He says here, this is how the Apostle Paul walked, walked until people thought he was crazy. Do not worry about what people say about you. Go on and pray in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> yes, pray in the Spirit. This is the way of blessing. The way of peace. The way of love. The way of joy. Have you, have you gone there? Have you, come, have you talked on the, the tongues until there's a, a, a breaking in your inside where love is poured into you, where joy is your portion as you live on this side of heaven, here in Michigan, Detroit, where elections are stolen. <laughs> you live among them. <laughs> ah, yes, God. Get you some peace, brother, by deliberately choosing to pray in the Spirit for as long as you... You see, listen. The Lord said in this message that I read, he said what? You are spirit beings. We are born again. Our new birth is not a, 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 a fleshly birth. Our new birth is a spiritual birth. That is what rewires us back to God. We are reconnected back to God. Because when Adam brought us into destruction, the link with God was snapped. Therefore, we were roaming around on this earth aimless, in darkness, lost. The earth was the only pleasure that we had from the earth. In the mercy of God, he has sent his son. His son has come, paid a terrible price, and has saved us. Okay? Now, have you, have you read a word in Romans chapter 8 that, that sin was condemned in the flesh? So why are you going to live in the flesh anymore? Why are you going to live in the flesh? When sin is condemned in the flesh, so he who walks in the flesh can never please God. Are you hearing me now? Sin is condemned in the flesh. That's it. The flesh is no good. So what, what do you have now? Spirit. Spirit life. You have spirit life. Your spirit has come now into being. That's the engine of your new life. 
You see that? And it must be fired up. Kabusa kum sa kum sa kum sa kum sa kum ba kasu kabu ya munga sata. Fire your soul. You see, I'm going to talk about your soul. Your soul is asleep. Your soul is sleeping and snoring. It has to be saved. James says, James says, receive ye the engrafted word. The word that has been planted in your being. The word of God that saves your spirit. Okay? So receive ye the same word. That is able to save the soul. The word of God has to come into the soul. Uh, we were, we were, the Lord explained it to us. What, what takes place, okay, on the inside at our salvation. He says, your spirit is my dwelling place. Your born again spirit. I brought your spirit back into life. I cleanse your spirit from all wickedness, all death. And I brought life into your spirit. So now the three of us, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, we dwell in your spirit now. We dwell in your spirit, not in the soul, in your spirit. Our task as God, he said, the task we have now is how to get out of the spirit, all right, and bring the same life to the soul. That is what salvation process is all about. So when you are talking in tongues, you got to talk tongues, fire oh, the rocket. <laughs> talk tongues until there is a break, a breakdown of the barriers between your soul and your, and, your, and your spirit. So life can flow from the spirit to your soul. Your soul has to be wakened up. Your spirit has been wakened up through the new birth. And the Lord coming to live in, in, in your spirit with the Holy Ghost. It quickening that. There's life in your born again spirit now. Because Christ indwells you. That's where he lives. But the soul is still dozing off. It's still dozing. <laughs> you hear me now? Your soul must be wept on. Don't you see in the, what, the, the, the word in Hebrews chapter 4, okay, and verse 12, the word of God is quick and alive, you know, right? Sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder, dividing asunder of the spirit and the soul. Ooh, the spirit and soul can be divided they are linked but it, the, the spirit can divide it so if you if you monitor whoever has this division operated in their being they can see the thoughts that are of the spirit and thoughts that are of the flesh and i, I gave you the book i gave you the book <laughs> what, what book is that what, what book did I, did I tell you that he deals with this thing? What book? Huh? The what? No, 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 no. no. But that, that's a good one too. But what book deals with this separation? The release of the spirit. Watch my knee. I've been telling you since Moses left Egypt. <laughs> since Moses left. <laughs> I've been telling you. I said read Watch my knee's book. The release of the spirit. He deals with this separation. You all didn't say amen. Bo, 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 bo. <laughs> you forgot about it, right? But I do you, you didn't remember? <laughs> he telling truth. Yes, God. He telling truth. You know he didn't remember, so he tells truth. <laughs> okay. Separate the spirit and the soul. So it's the word of God that can do that. The word of God can cut the line of separation. The soul and the citizen now, they are divided, right? So that you can serve God in the spirit and your soul will be waiting. Well, you will you, be doing and then your, your, your soul will be, can be engaging 
activities that you have to do, but your spirit is communion with God. You, can, you see, you can do your chores and your spirit is singing. Haven't you seen that? <laughs> oh, my Lord. Okay, let's go on. This is the way of blessing, the way of peace, praying in the spirit now. That's what we're talking about, praying the Holy Ghost. This is the way of blessing, the way of peace, the way of love, and the way of joy. Don't you understand why my servant Paul said, but this one blew my mind. This one, when the Lord said that, and I thought about it, I said, wow. He said, listen, he said, don't you understand why my servant Paul said, I thank my God that I speak in tongues more than all of you? Why? Let me, let me ask you something. Let me get that. What do you thank God for? What do you thank God for? What do you thank God for? Tell me the thing that you thank, you thank God for. Brother, tell me what, what do you thank God for? Being alive. Huh? Being, alive. Uh, being alive. Okay, what do you thank God for? Being life uh, okay, being, being life, life. Well, God giving you life. What do you thank God for? Anybody? Deacon, what do you thank God for? Life. Life. All right, all right, all right. Uh, okay, all right, all right, all right. It's all something, but that's, what, that's not what Paul was thanking God for. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's thanking God that he talked tongues. <laughs> ah. Yo, <laughs> you know... <laughs> <laughs> Paul, what are you talking? Paul, okay, okay. And, and he thank, oh yeah, I thank, I, I thank God for for what? Because I talk tongues. <laughs> the man is thanking God that he blessed in the Holy Ghost more than anybody else. Think about that. Think about that. This this man, former murderer. Now I become an apostle. He said he wants, he wants to know Jesus Christ. The excellency of the, of, the, of the knowledge of Christ. He wants to know that excellency. That deep stuff. The unsearchable stuff. Right? That's what he wants to know. Then there he is. He's thanking God that I blessed in the Holy Ghost more than everybody else. Why would he say that? He knows the value. He saw the value of, of, of this, this realm. I say, Paul saw what is hidden in this realm. And he touched it. It was more than anything, anything. No, haven't you seen the wisdom that flood, uh, no, flourished in his soul? Haven't you seen, don't you blow your mind about his understanding of the riches of Christ? So now it should make sense to you why he said, I thank God. I thank, and now guzu, 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 I thank God, brother. I thank my God. Oh, yes, God. You ain't thanking? I thank my God that I talk them tongues. I talk them tongues more than you all. But, but if, uh, if uh, I thank God, I go to church. <laughs> I thank my God I go to church and sing in the choir and teach Sunday school. All right, keep on. <laughs> Brethren, this is serious business. Your eyes must be open to see what you can walk in. Paul saw it. But you see, this is not my, my, my word. I didn't write this. Or I, didn't, I didn't think about this. This is the Lord t telling us the secret of Paul. Why will you thank God just because you talk tongues? What is it that the guy saw in this realm that he never seen before? So, wow, God, you mean this, this stuff here? That's why it does? Wow. Ah, Father, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Thank you. I can brush these tongues. <laughs> Ooh, don't you understand why my servant Paul said, I thank my God that I speak in tongues more than all of you. This is the way to walk with me, says the Lord. This is the way to walk with me, says the Lord. Keep praying in the spirit until you break through in the spirit. You must keep on praying in the spirit. You have to pray in the spirit. That is the only way. Oh, my goodness. That is the only way to walk with the Lord. You have to pray in the spirit until you realize that this is the way. You, you, did you hear that? If you ain't praying, if you ain't pressing on, you ain't going to see that, wow, this truly is the way to walk with God. The God you are walking with is a spirit. So you're going to talk to him or, or with, your, with your English language all the time? You're going to talk to him with your mother tongue, me, uh, mother tongue or Ghana language all the time? Talking the Holy Ghost. <laughs> I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to share an, an experience. Something that I have, I have written it, it is it, it, this way, because it happened during the day. We, we, are, we are all talking in tongues. You know, we bless in the Holy Ghost, bless in the Holy Ghost, bless in the Holy Ghost. And now all, all of a sudden, the Lord, you know, you know, comes, descends. Okay, descends mightily. And, and uh, Sister Georgina, okay, broke, broke in, in in tongues in another realm. And he's talking, and the Lord is there. Okay, the Lord has come down. And then Sister Georgina just blasts off you know, in, in, in tongues. And the Lord said, my daughter, yes, my daughter, yes, ask me, ask, ask what you want. I, 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 I hear you asking, ask, the Lord understand the tongue he's talking. <laughs> the Lord on the tongue, you understand the tongue she's talking, she's asking some stuff from God. <laughs> I for you guys, what, what, what's, <laughs> you guys said, you said, I know you are you 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 are looking for something. Tell me what you want. Tell me what you, my daughter. Tell me. Rise, rise. You know, say what you want. I'll give it to you. She's trying to in the spirit. She's trying to communicate something, some desires of her innermost being to God. And here we have the Lord Himself right there in our presence, and He's telling us what she is asking for. And something. Oh heavens. <laughs> I wrote it all here. It's inside here. <laughs> Are you here? He that searches the heart. Complete the sentence. He that searches the heart knows what? Knows what is the mind of the spirit. For what? For that's right. For it is according to the will of God that the spirit make, make it intercessions for the saints. So God who searches the heart knows the mind of the spirit. So here is my sister-in-law. He, he, he cried, reaching out because he, you had, you, she broke out in some tongues. And then he's rising, he crying. Crying, she can't stop. Like he want to say something, but she, she don't know what to say. And the Lord said, yes, 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 yes. My daughter, say it, say it, the thing in your heart. Bring it. Ask me. I'll give it to you. I know you want something. Ooh, yes, God. Brother, talk tongues. All right? God understands you. God understands when you talk tongues. God is a spirit, and you are a spirit being. So why are you going to talk English all the time? That's why your, 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 your walk is all English. <laughs> Your walk is always in English. <laughs> you don't walk in the spirit, you walk in English. <laughs> Let tongues be the predominant language you communicate with God. 
The predominant language in your life has to be tongues. So your mindset will be wired in the spirit. <laughs> ah, yes, God. He says here, let me, so you have to pray in the spirit until you realize that the, that is the way. Yes, this is the way of liberty and freedom. <laughs> you must be able to testify about this path. Now, now how are you going to testify? Did Paul not testify? So what are you going to do? Do we expect Paul to come back from the dead or from heaven to come and testify to us about, about this pathway? Somebody's, somebody's have to walk through. And that is what the Lord has been, has been grieved about. Because people don't want to obey him and live the word of God out in their life so they can testify and be living witnesses for him. You cannot, you, you cannot even talk, talk about his love to nobody or his peace or his joy or his holiness. You can't do that because you ain't walking in it. But we are called to be expressions of Christ in action. Amen. We are to be conformed to the image of his son. In our innermost being. Not in our physical body. On the inside of us. Christ must be formed. So that Christ can come out. Does Christ not have fragrance? Paul said we are called to make known the fragrance, the sweet fragrance. Where did he get that from? Paul saw some uh, 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 fragrance. He smelled, ah, Jesus, he smelled good. He said, Paul, Paul, will you make me known? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to live the way you want me to live so I can, I can really testify of the sweet fragrance of Christ. We are the sweet fragrance of Christ, says Paul. Listen. To testify for Christ is not going to uh, bring the Roman road you know, to somebody. The Roman road or the Jerusalem road is a one, two, three, some, some, some list. No, that's not witnessing. No, a, a witness is somebody who has seen something, who has touched something, who has experienced something. And he knows what he's talking about. Most people just say what the pastor told them to say. They go out to go and testify. Oh, do you know Jesus? Yeah. <laughs> some, some, some guy, some, some guy in Ghana. He crazy guy. <laughs> they, they send me the... <laughs> they are going to witness and then they met him. They say, sir... Can, can I ask you something? So, so they ask him, are you born again? Are you born again? He said, oh, no, I don't born again. I don't born. That's, that's what he said. I don't born again. He said, oh, no, 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 no. Are you born again? He said, no, I don't born again. You know, you know, we, you know we Ghana people, you know, we need to go and you know, work with our wife and, and do the family planning. So I, I don't born again. I have five children. I don't born again. <laughs> <laughs> he don't understand nothing. <laughs> he thought he thought they were asking me if we're gonna have another child. <laughs> so no, I don't born again. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> oh my lord. Lord have mercy upon us. Listen, let our testimony be real. When the Lord teaches you, there's no hypocrisy. Or no. Because you see, you haven't seen that he watches you daily. You, 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 you haven't seen it. And you are trying to get something from him, but he knows that you are not ready. He knows. But you know what he said? Like, Listen, I am with you here. In your apartment, I am here. So learn to recognize that I'm here with you. 
Okay, I see all you do. I hear all your conversations. There are times you, all, you, you even try to imitate me when I come and talk to you. You imitate how I talk. <laughs> he said, I hear it all, but instead of going to imitate the world, it's better to imitate me. I said, yes, God, yes, God. <laughs> Some of the things he says is just, it's just so amazing. But you see, the law will not let you be a hypocrite. He hates it. You have to be real. Okay? You have to be real. He works with real people. Not fake news. Not fake believers. We cover up so many things. You want God to use you? He, he has to deal with you with the fake news in your soul. The fake attitudes. The things that, 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 that are not true, but you know, you call it up, you cover it up, and it's there. No. He will shine light. And one thing that praying the Holy Ghost will do, that's what it will do. It will expose the hidden secrets in your, in your soul. Bring them all out. Okay, so here. Uh, you must be able to testify about this path. This is the only path that leads you into the realms of the spirit. You hear that? Did you hear what I said? This is the only path that leads you into the realms of the spirit. When you step in this path, you do not look to the left or to the right. When you step on that path, you must go all the way to the heavenly realm. You must be my witnesses about this pathway of praying in the spirit. You must witness for me about this. But how are you going to witness when you don't pray, when you don't go in there? Have you, been, have you really been able to convince anyone that this is the way to go in your Christian life? Yeah. Have you been able to sit someone and say, listen, brother, I don't know what, you, what, what you're going through, but I'll tell you something. If you want to see something in your life, this is the way. Talk like you know what you're talking about. But most believers, their words are not authoritative in the sense that when you hear them, there's no conviction. When you know, you know. The Lord says, when you see the truth, you, you know you know the truth. Because I you know everything. Because I was, we were talking and I said, you know, every song that the Lord chooses, okay, he always says, the songwriter told the truth. The songwriter told the truth. I said, now, you see now, it seems seem like all the songwriters tell the truth. <laughs> so one day the Lord came there, he said, I heard what you said. <laughs> I heard what you said. But when you see the truth, you see the truth. That was his answer to me. When you see truth, you must recognize it as truth. So when I come and say the songwriter, you know, said what is true, I know it. Because what he said is true. It's in line with my word. Ah, yes, God. Say, so you must be my witnesses about this, uh, about this pathway of praying in the spirit. Others have passed through this path and have borne witness about the glories of this path. Others. Dave Robeson. Did you not read? The, the, the what the, 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 what? the work of what yeah the work of the spirit the work of power why is he talking like that because he's seen something he walk in it so he can testify that is the whole essence of being a believer to bear witness to Jesus Christ to tell what you have seen to tell what you have witnessed to tell what you have experienced in seeking him we are becoming witnesses, he says. You are going to testify for me. You are going to witness for me. So you better learn what I'm teaching you. He says here, others have passed through this path and have borne witness about the glories of this path. You have to keep praying intensely until it seems like you can no longer go on. Because you will feel pain in your ribcage. <laughs> but keep on pressing on 
until you go past the feeling of pain in your side and your inner life is enlarged for you to continue to pray in the spirit. You hear that? One, one guy, when we were in Ghana last, last year, one of the churches I went to, you know, you know uh, preach there, I did all night. I asked the pastor, we're going to do all night on, on Friday, all night prayer meet on Friday. So we did all night. I preached. And then we did all night praying the Holy Ghost. I said, Holy Ghost. We praying the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost for, 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 for a long time. Until about 4 o'clock in the morning. Before we, you know, we, know, we, we ended the, well, the meeting. There is, I, I didn't even know. There was, there was a guy that, that you know, okay, came to Boston. You know, where, where my, my sister you know, uh, where used to be. At Pittsfield. And my sister was there, and she, she, he was talking with you know, you know, his friends, and then they were saying, wow, some guy, some man of God that came to, to my church in Ghana, he made us pray Holy Ghost until all my sides were sore. <laughs> Man, and then he didn't know that my, you know, uh, 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 I'm related to, you know, to my, my, my sister. Well, he didn't know that my sister was there. So he said, oh, that's your sister in the Holy Ghost, the guy who said in the Holy Ghost? Yeah, that's my, that's my brother. So, wow. He drove us crazy. I might. <laughs> oh, my side was painful. Okay, so so, but then, strange enough, in this book, in this in this booklet, the Lord came down in the morning time, and then he he brought this guy, this guy who was complaining that his size. <laughs> now he's come back from Ghana. Now he don't go to 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 to, to Pentecostal church no more. He go to Methodist. Then the Lord said, the Lord gave a message about him. He said, listen, you all remember the guy who was complaining that he talked tongues until his sides were, 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 were hurting him? He said, look for him and, and tell him, come back to God. Come back in the path. He's left the, the path of truth to go and, and sit somewhere else. So I still have the message to, you know, to give to him. That the Lord said, brother, come back. Because you know, we spoke to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said, okay, okay, okay. You know. Uh, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad. But I have to give him the message. Amen. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. You may feel pain. You may feel that because, you see, sin destroys. The Holy Ghost has come to do that which is messy. Restore things. Restore your innermost being. Yeah. So whatever is not like what God created you to be will be dealt with. There will be some barriers broken down on the inside. Keep on going. Amen. Says here. Ah, but keep on pressing on until you go past the feeling of pain in your side and your inner life is enlarged for you to continue to pray in the spirit. Let me ask you again. Why will my servant Paul thank the Lord God that he prayed in tongues more than the rest of the people. Why? Have you observed, listen to this, have you observed the inner enlargement that took place in his being? Am I, am I talking to you? Have you observed, but maybe you don't see it. You read, read, read the abundance of, it's like a mighty river opened up in Paul's being. Read the word that he was writing. How it flowed like a mighty river of life. Coming out of his being. Writing them words. He says here, Have you observed the inner enlargement that took place in his being? Have you noticed the revelations that were poured into his being? So I say to you, do not underestimate this praying in the spirit. This is the pathway to spiritual growth in your inner being. Keep praying until the flowers and the beauties in the spirit start to start to you know, start appearing in your being. Are you always supposed to go to 
Ooh. Keep praying until the flowers, the flowers of the fruit of the spirit, the flowers of the fruit of righteousness, start appearing in your being. Your whole life depends on this pathway. This path being enlarged for you to walk in daily. This path must be enlarged. The Lord, you know, the Lord says something interesting about the narrow way. Okay, the narrow way. Okay, he said, oh, he says, oh, I go to go into enter into you know in uh, and enter by the narrow way. For large is the way that leads to destruction. And there are many people that, that are going through. But narrow and straight is the path that leads to life. Only, only a few are going through that path. He said, my father did it that way. Deliberately made it narrow. But it is only narrow at the beginning. It's only narrow because that's how... Okay, he can find out who is serious and who is not serious. Because only those who are serious will press on through the, the early narrow entrance. Because you, when you are coming, you know you want it. It's narrow? Oh, yeah, but I, I want it. You want it? All right, come on in. The, the moment you, 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 you go past the early entrance of narrowness and distance, as you go on, it starts to become enlarged. <laughs> oh, brother, are you hearing me? Amen. But if you follow the narrowness, you ain't going to go there. Don't be fooled, all right, by the large uh, entrance. No, go through the narrow way. It's a way of, of, of selection. God selects those who are serious. He chooses those who mean business. If you, are, you don't mean business with God, you can't go through the narrow path. All right, so he says here, I will, I will pour into your being. Okay, no, okay. What is it? Keep praying in the spirit so you will truly start to appreciate the revelations that I will pour into your, okay. All right, here, let me go back. Do not be weary. Keep praying in the spirit so you will truly start to appreciate the revelations that I will pour into your being. This is the pathway of all spiritual blessings, the revelations of the riches of Christ in your inner being. Many of my children do not know this path because they do not pray in the spirit as they should. For their sakes, you must go on praying in the spirit until you enter into the realm of revelations and visions, as the apostle said. So he said, for the sake of those who don't know this part, we must keep on going. We must press on. Press on, make, make headway so we can teach others. For their sakes, you must go on praying in the spirit until you enter into the realm of revelations and visions. As the Apostle Paul said, and you too can bear witness of this way to others. So they too will learn from your testimony and be determined to pursue the path of praying in the Spirit. Your testimony will help others to, to, to take the same path. This is the pathway that leads straight into the spirit realm and into the glories of the heavenly life. When you go all the way into the realms of the spirit, your life will be transformed. You will not be the same. Your understanding will be quickened and wisdom will flow into your being. Amen. Pray in the spirit until the heavenly light bursts into your being and the glory floods, the glory floods your soul. You hear that? And then now, listen to something. Now I will have to reveal something, he says. My servant, that, is, that he makes a reference to, my servant, it is for your sake I have returned. Because when he finished, he ended this one, the, on, until the heavenly light burst forth, you know, then, you know, he said, that's it, that's the end. 
and then you know he withdraws and then quickly he returns so now I will have to reveal reveal it my servant it is for your sake that I have returned you are going to Michigan to go and minister in my name but what what I need you to do and I'm I came, I came with an assignment. <laughs> but what I need you to do is to blast in the Holy Ghost until you really see that you have blasted very well. Hear that? Nothing hinders you in the house in Michigan. He knows. And so you must blast until your spirit feels blessed. Wow. Nothing hinders, hinders you in Michigan. So as you go, you must blast until your spirit is freed. You know that you have not yet been allowed to start the work I have for you to do. But the time is coming. You will be allowed to enter upon the call I have for you. But I say to you to blast intensely as you go to Michigan. You know I gave you that house. That is, I, I haven't I testified that the Lord gave me that house? <laughs> Ooh, he said, you know I gave you that house. So you are free there. He knows. <laughs> Only about three neighbors. You know, we, are, we can quiet. So... <laughs> Uh, you know I gave you that house, so you are free there to blast God. And nothing can hinder you from blasting in the Holy Ghost. So I say, you should blast. And then tell everyone who will listen that they should blast in the Holy Ghost too. Until they are liberated in the Spirit. You hear that? And the flowers of the Spirit's beauty spring forth in your being. You know, you know something called the, 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 the beauty of holiness? Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. You, you, you blast Holy Ghost God. You will see. Your inside will be holy. And so beautiful, oh my Lord, beautiful stuff that will happen on, on the inside. You will be so glad and content. Self, you know there are some houses, they say they call them self-contained. Right? Everything is in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When it gets to the, with, the, with God, when you blast God, it's self-contained. <laughs> you dwell in there, and you are drinking God, drinking Holy Ghost, drinking love, drinking joy, drinking peace, drinking everything. It's available. So I want to go out. <laughs> oh, yes, God. Okay, it says here. No, I'm, 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 I won't say this one. This one is not about. So it seems like okay, you okay? Yeah, here, yeah, here, yeah, yeah. You all must prove to me that you are truly serious when you say you blast in the Holy Ghost. Huh? You must prove to me that you are serious when you say we are blasting in the Holy Ghost. What do you do? As for me. The Lord says, I'm still to be convinced by you that you truly mean business when you say you blast in the Holy Ghost. You must prove that you truly know the value of praying in the Holy Ghost and the glories that can be poured into your being from truly praying seriously and intensely in the Holy Ghost. This is, this is your calling. This is, this, is, this is what God is asking you all to do. The question I ask you all is, why did my servant Paul thank me that he prays in the spirit more than everyone else? When he says, I will come to visions and revelations. Have you read that, that word in 1 Corinthians, I think, uh, uh, what, 2 Corinthians? Yeah, 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and 12. He said, I'll, now I'll come to visions and revelations. <laughs> when he said, I, I knew a man about 14 years ago, 
Okay, whether he's in the spirit or in the, this man was caught up in the third heaven. You talk about stuff that he saw. All right, you say here. Why did he say, yeah, yeah, he says, yeah. Why did my servant Paul thank me that he prays in the spirit more than everyone else? When he says, I will come to visions and revelations, how did he get to this realm where visions and revelations were poured into his being? And how was he caught up into the third heaven, into paradise? Have you noticed the depths of his knowledge of the riches of Christ? Come on, brother. Have you noticed? It's not because he's poor, but because he's poor who was hungry. Ah, he said, have you noticed the depths of his knowledge of the riches of Christ, which he calls the unsearchable riches of Christ? I ask you again, what will make a man of good standing in his community? Paul, good standing, right? A good man. He's a Hebrew of Hebrews, you know. <laughs> He's the Hebrew of Hebrew. His father was, was Hebrew. We brought everything to Hebrew. <laughs> he said, what will make a man of good standing in his community and nation come to consider everything society gave him and conferred on him as rubbish? What will make a man say that? And how did he acquire what he calls the excellency of the knowledge of Christ, which far surpasses everything he possessed before. How did he get that? Brethren, I'm telling you something about this praying in the Holy Ghost. I'm putting something, I'm coming from the Lord himself. I say, I am, I am, I am a messenger with this message from the Lord to his people. That you all should explore this pathway to glory. You should take this pathway to glory, blasting in the Holy Ghost, until you too can testify, so that others will say, wow, if that's what it does, I'm going there. Are you hearing me now? This is your assignment. You don't tell me you don't have Holy Ghost. You all have Holy Ghost? Okay. Then blast the Holy Ghost. Let God know now. Let God, but I don't let God see. What I do means Holy Ghost, he, he blasts one hour, he's gone. <laughs> oh no, you ain't gone one hour. You ain't gone two. You ain't gone three. You ain't gone four. You ain't gone. Keep going. It says here, let me read this for you. How did he acquire? what he calls the excellency of the knowledge of Christ, which far surpasses everything he possessed before. He received Christ. He received a new life. He received the riches of that life because he discovered the power of the Holy Spirit's intercessions in his being through praying in tongues which elevated his born-again spirit into the heavenly realm of Christ, Christ's glory and his riches. Are you here? Here, here, here. See, see the steps of Paul. He received Christ. He received a new life. Are you following? He received Christ. He received a new life. He received the riches of that life. Well, how, well, how did he receive that? Because he discovered the power of the Holy Spirit's intercessions in his being through praying in tongues. That's what he discovered. Wow. If I get tongues, Holy Ghost do some stuff in my being. I'm going there some more. <laughs> oh, through praying in tongues, which elevated his born again spirit. We'll talk about this one, this elevation of the born again spirit into the realm of Christ. This is what Sunday we're going to talk about. Praying in tongues which elevated his born again spirit 
into the heavenly realm of Christ's glory and his riches. He writes about being quickened together with Christ, raised up together with Christ, and being made to sit in heavenly places. Come on now, brother. Here is where we go on Sunday. Well, it blew my mind when the Lord explained this realm to us. He said, listen, the reason why I said you all should read Rich House, he said, I'm bringing you to what Rich House walked in, because it is for every child of God. I say it is for every child of God, brother. What did, oh, you all didn't read Rich House, so I can't talk Rich House. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, yes, God. He writes about being quickened together with Christ, raised up together with Christ, and being made to sit in heavenly places, given a joint sitting together with Christ in the heavenly realm in Christ, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. What are you talking about, Paul? You say, yeah, what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. The saint of God, elevated in the spirit. To have a joint sitting with Christ. He writes, ah, ma, 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 ma. He says here, praying in the spirit is the pathway for beautiful things flourishing in your lives. Beautiful things to flourish in your lives. On this day, the Lord gave us two messages, but I'm not going to re re read the second one. I just wanted to concentrate on the on the bond, on the the tongues. So let me let, let's hear, and then I'll, I'll go. Okay, he says here. I want everyone, everyone to understand, to hear that they should blush strong in the Holy Spirit. Until your soul is awakened. Until your soul is awakened. Yes, I say to you all. To stir up yourselves. And blast strong in the Holy Ghost. Blast until your soul is liberated from prison. Not your spirit. Your soul is liberated. Free from the. You know what the prison is? The prison of the, of the, of the self-life and the prison of this world. The things of the world that come straight into the soul. Ah, blast until your soul is liberated from prison. You have imprisoned your soul. Now blast strong and let your soul come forth. You have imprisoned your soul. You have imprisoned your soul. Now blast. And let your soul come forth. You must blast intensely. So Satan will have no place in you to imprison you. Yes, I say blast in the Holy Ghost. Until you break through and your soul comes forth. Ah, your imprisoned soul must be liberated. Ah, ah, now that's it. You must blast until you feel it in your sides intensely. Blast and your imprisoned soul will come forth. Ah, yes, God. Okay, see, 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 here, here, here. Okay, okay, let, 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 I, I told you about that, that guy who said, you know, we wore him up in, over in Ghana. Okay, here's his prophecy. Now, that child of mine who said he blasted until his sides were painful, <laughs> tell him to return back onto the path. He does not pray anymore in tongues. He has gone astray, deceived by the enemy. Now tell him he needs to come back to the truth. So I have an assignment to deal with him. Brethren, this is the pathway. Listen, this one is you and God. You got it. But you have not invested time in it. 
you got it. It's there. You don't say it's, it's not something that we, are, we, we have to give you. You have to break through in your own soul. You have to blast. Start, start with an hour. If you are not used to blast an hour, start with an hour and increase it. And increase it. And increase it. There are realms of tongues. Realms of sweet tongues. Oh my Lord, I love that. that I don't know where I, I don't know where it came from. We blast in the night, and that's where that all of a sudden I started talking. I said, Wow, wow, I like it. <laughs> it's like I want to talk something. It's like I'm communicating some real stuff. Ah, Father God. All right, let's let's rise and give God thanks and We'll, we'll close and go home. All right. We are, we are going to close early today. Father God, we give you glory and honor and praise. Thou alone whose name is Jehovah. You are the Lord of glory and you reign and rule over all. I thank you for your people. I thank you for those who are here and those who are on, uh, Lord on the internet. May the same spirit the same presence that we feel here. Also, O oh God, reach them and lift them up and bless them too as we are blessed. Thank you, O oh Lord, for the Spirit of God. Thank you for his groanings and his intercessions. Thank you, O oh Lord, my King, for Father, you have truly blessed us. You have given us, O oh God, a great gift to pray, Lord, and explore the vast territory of the spirit realm. And nothing can stop us. Father, we can go as long as we want to go. We can, we can go as far as we want to go. Thank you. Nobody stops us. Mm -hmm. Thank you, O oh Lord, that your children will take advantage of this realm so that their lives will be lifted up from the domain of the earthly, from the realm of the earthly, so that, Father God, they will start to walk in the spirit, think in the spirit, desire the spiritual things. Oh, Lord, my Father, I thank you for your church. I thank you for your people, that the spirit of God will stir up, oh God, in their hearts, a desire to rise, a desire to break through, a desire to pray until their souls have been quickened, quickened, Quicken from the slumber, slumber of sleep. Oh, soul of God's people, come forth from your sleeping, your sleeping stupor. Soul, be thou quickened and come forth into the liberty of the sons of God. Father, we pray for you, our souls to be freed. James says, receive ye the engrafted word, which is able to save our souls. So we thank you. For the word of God, that the spirit of God will use, Lord, to quicken our souls and save our souls. Ah, Father God, thank you, O God, for a renewed mind. That our minds will be renewed as we, pr as we press on in the Holy Ghost. It is as we pray in the spirit of God that the chains that bind the minds will be torn down. I thank you for freedom in the spirit. Freedom to walk with God without any chains binding us. We give you glory and honor and praise for this wonderful and marvelous realm of liberty. It is for liberty that Christ has set us free. So we will, not, we will no more be, be entangled with the yoke of bondage. So we thank you, O God, for freedom. We thank you, O God, for truth. We thank you for love, joy, peace, which will be ours when we break through into this realm. Thank you, O oh Lord, for blessing your people. Thank you, O oh Lord, for watching over us. Thank you, O oh Lord, for covering us with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, O oh Lord. We are safe under your wings, under your mighty covering. So we thank you as we leave this place. Lord, we go our separate ways. But Father, but we don't leave your presence. Your presence always goes with us. So go with your people, O oh Lord. And let us come back again tomorrow at the same time to come and meet with our God in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen.
Yes, God. Yes, God. 